Okay, so I just wanted to do a very quick and dirty tutorial on how to add custom songs to Fuser. The first thing you will need is a thing called Fuser Song Loader. And the next one is the Fuser Custom Song Creator. Uh, first thing you should download is the Fuser Song Loader, and I'll go through how to install that. You click either Releases or Tags, click Assets, and download winhttp.dll. Once you download that, you take that DLL and put it into your Steam Fuser folder. Fuser binaries win64. And you just plop that in here. Make sure it's the same directory as Fuser win64 shipping.exe. Uh, what this does is actually load up your custom songs into Fuser once the game starts up. Um, and then after this, you go back to your Fuser folder. You go to content and then open up the packs file and make a new folder in here called custom underscore songs. This is very important that it's like this case sensitive and everything, uh, just custom underscore songs. And this is where you'll be putting all of your custom songs after you create them. Uh, after doing all that, you should be set up for custom songs. Now let's get into actually creating the custom songs. So once you've installed Fuser Song Loader, the next step is to actually create the custom songs. Uh, what you'll need is this program called FUser Custom Song Creator. And by the way, both of these are made by Metra on GitHub. Um, I don't know how he does it, but he's a god at this. So anyway, so you download it the same way as you would the Fuser Song Loader. You either click tags or releases, um, assets, and just download and extract the zip somewhere. And you should have these two files here. The next thing you'll need are the stems of the song that you're trying to make a custom song. Uh, I won't go into detail about how to find them, but I'm pretty sure you can Google hard enough and find them. I know that there is a program on GitHub somewhere that'll split the stems, but it sometimes adds artifacting and whatnot but beggars can't be choosers. So in this case, I'll just use the, um, I'll use the Megalovania example that I have in my last vid. And I didn't, let me, real quick, let me close it, I think. Where is this? Here we are. Yeah, okay. All right, so I'll just be using these for now. Uh, this is just a recreation from a YouTube video that I found. So I have it loaded up here. This is the OD lead. It's the, just really that part. So what you're gonna wanna do, and this is the hard part, is you need to take the part that you want and split it into a 32 beat file. So the way that you can get 32 beats in Audacity, which is a free program, by the way, you can get it on, I'll link it in the description. Uh, you go to make a new stereo track, and then go to generate rhythm track. Um, take the BPM and match it to the BPM of the song. Uh, Megalovania is 120 beats per minute. And then set the number of bars to 32, and then click OK. And here's the 32 beat that you're gonna have to set your loop to. Full screen. So let's just say I want for my lead, my example, I had the synth main, da da da, or whatever you call it. I'm not sure, I'm not a music person, but I had that part. So what you're gonna wanna do is first isolate that part. And audacity that real quick and get rid of this and then basically from there I take there's the end right there I will there we are take this part cut it make a new track and then just repeatedly paste it until I get to the end. So here, stop, paste, paste, 
And just for this example, I'm only going to do this one. Um, you can do up to four stems, I believe, um, of just different melodies. Or if you want to take the legit route, you can try and split up the song to make it like one section of it. Um, since Megalovania changes throughout the song, kind of difficult to do that. So my whole plan was each like stem, the loop, bass, drums, and all that are a different part of the song. Um, but for anyways, now we have a... It's pretty dirty, but I just did it in 10 seconds, but it loops for 32 beats. So then you're going to click solo, and then you go to file, export as OGG. This is important. It needs to be an OGG format. Then once you have it, uh, just save it. I'll just name it tutorial or whatever, dot OGG. And then click save. Okay. And it'll export it. Now, what you really also need to pay attention to is this little thing right down here, the project rate, HC. Uh, keep in mind that number. I would recommend just keeping Audacity open and keeping this here. But once you have your stems, uh, what you're going to want to do is, where did I go here? What you're going to want to do is open up Fuser Song Loader, or Fuser Song Creator. And it'll pop up with this. Go to File, New. And then you just fill in the properties of the song. The short name, not really sure if this is too important, but I'm just going to name it Mega Tutorial. Uh, the song name, same thing, just so I can differentiate it. Artist name. And then the BPM and key. BPM key mode. This is fairly important. Uh, you can find this by looking up your song on Google. Uh, I know that Megalovania is 120 and is in the key of G and G major. And here's where you actually add your instruments. Uh, just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to be replacing all of it with just tutorial. The, the tutorial loop that I just made. Now, the sample rate should detect this little number down, down here, but in the event that it doesn't, then just change it. Um, uh, what you can also do is, right over here, as you can see, duplicate primary for secondary audio. The secondary audio is the minor key. So I notice sometimes um, that can be open and you can upload another audio file to it. Um, but most of the time, I usually just duplicate it. Uh, here's where you change the instrument that shows up in Fuser. So like for the lead, you can be the vocal or in like most songs or like the synth in um, Satisfaction. So in this case, I'll just choose it to synth. And you can just go through and change all of them to your liking. You can play around with this. I haven't messed around with any of this, but it seems interesting enough. But these are the only ones that you should really worry about. So once you uploaded all of your stuff, you're pretty much good to go. The hard part's already done. So go up to file and then save or save as, and you just name your file. So I'll name it just the default and you click save. So from here, you should have two files being generated, a mega tutorial P or whatever you named it dot pack and then a dot sig file. What you're going to want to do is go back to your custom songs directory and then just drag and drop those two files into the custom songs directory. And from there, you should be good to go. All right, so once you've installed your custom song, what you're going to want to do is test it. And it's real easy to do that. You just go to your music crate. And if you just scroll down in your music list, as you should see, there it is, Mega Tutorial. I've already added it in here. Um, what you can do from here is either go into freestyle or campaign or whatever you want to do with custom songs. And as you can see, it works perfectly fine. Um, effects work perfect. And um, same with BPM. 
the major and minor doesn't work for at least this one because we didn't upload a separate audio track for it. Um, but keywords. As far as changing the genre and all that is, uh, at the current time that's not possible or hasn't been found yet. Uh, hopefully in the future that gets found out. But for now, I mean, hey, we have custom songs in Fuser. What more do you want? <laughs> But uh, if you like this tutorial, make sure to leave a like. I hope it was clear enough for you. Uh, I noticed that there weren't many tutorials on this yet, despite this method being known, at least in very small circles. So hopefully this helps you out to get custom songs in Fuser. In the future, I plan on releasing just custom song packs, just because there's a bunch of songs that I would like in Fuser. So if you're excited for that, go ahead and click subscribe. It really helps me out, helps out the channel. And I uh, hope you guys have a great day.